So we're starting pretty much from scratch here. Um, we're going to be building every single part of this mini application up. So really the first thing that we want to do is on the home page, we're going to determine from a database whether this user is premium or not, the user that's signed in. We're not going to be creating a registration and login system because that's uh, going to take too long within this video. What we are going to do is we're going to set a session based on which users signed in and you can integrate this with your current uh, system. So the first thing I want is a table which contains user details. You might already have this, but if you're building this uh, example up from scratch, uh, then you might want to follow along with creating these fields. The first one is just going to be an ID field. The type is obviously an integer. The length you can uh, you can cut down if you want. It's obviously unsigned. It's a primary key and it's also auto increment. So for each record we create, this number we increment. Now I'm also going to have a username. You can store an email if you want, it, it really doesn't matter, so you can put an email field in there. And then we're also going to have a premium field as well. So the username then, we'll just give this a varchar of say 20. And for the email, let's also make this a varchar, and we'll make this 255. And for the premium, this is going to be a boolean. Now that's going to translate in here to a tiny int of 1. So we can either store the, uh, the number 0 or the number 1 in here. So that, they're the field set up, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and uh, fill in these details. So I'll go ahead and type a few, a couple of test accounts in here. Premium will set to zero. So in here we'll say an email as well, just so we have a couple of accounts to test with. And we'll say zero here as well. We'll, we'll can chop and change these around if we want. So inside of our application then on the home page, we want to determine whether the user is premium or not. That's the first step. So we need to do a couple of things just to set things up. So I'm going to create a new folder in my directory I'm in here. And I'm going to create a new file within this app directory. And I'm going to call this init.php. This is just where I'm going to set things up like sessions and the database connection. So this is pretty straightforward. We want to start sessions so we can store a session ID. And I'm going to actually store that just up here now. So I'm going to say session user ID equals one. So we're just hard coding this value in here. If you do have some kind of uh, authentication system, uh, this would probably be stored maybe in a session and then you might have other uh, features to it. But either way, as long as you have access to somewhere that your user's ID is stored, that's fine. Okay, so the next thing then is the database connection. So I'm going to be using PDO to connect. So I'm going to instantiate uh, a new PDO object. And then inside of here, I want to use the MySQL driver. We type in our host, so that's localhost or 127.0.0.1. And then we have a DB name. And this can be anything, but in our case, it's website, if you just have a look here. So we now need to provide the username that we connect with and the password. I'm just working locally, so these are both root. So now what we want to do is we want to perform a query to get to determine whether this user is premium or not. So I'm just going to say user query. Oh, and this is also going to store other users' details as well. So it will store, th uh, it, will, it will give us things like the username, the email, just so we can use these along the way. So I'm going to say DB prepare. So this is going to be a prepared statement. And a prepared statement basically just allows us to draft out a query, if you like, and then inject variables into it to help prevent SQL injection. So I'm going to select uh, all the fields from this table. So uh, ID, username, email, and premium, which is probably the one we're after in this case. And we need to choose where we're selecting that from. So that's from the users table. Now, this is going to be where the ID in that table equals user ID. And this is a uh, PDO placeholder with the colon just here. So down here, what we can do is we can use the user query variable that we stored that up here. And then we can execute this and we need to pass in an array here to basically inject these variables in. So it's the same name as the name that you called the placeholder here. So this could be called absolutely anything. And that is going to be session user ID. So now we have a query that we can fetch an object from or something like that. And that's going to give us all of them details. So let's just ha have a look at how this works. So I'm going to store this in a variable called user. I'm going to say user query fetch object. 
So just to test here, let's do a print R on user and let's head over to our browser. Oops, we need to include this on our home page. And this is important because then we can have access to everything that we're doing in here. So here I'm going to go ahead and require once app init.php. So that will pull that file in. So now you'll see this. So we've got an object here. We've got an ID of one, username of Alex, email, and then premium is zero. If premium was one, then obviously that would change. So now what we can do is we can use this on our home page to determine whether the user is premium or not by doing a quick if statement. Now I have a basic document just laid out here. We're not using any style sheets or anything like that. If you're just mucking around, you don't necessarily have to have a document layout like this, but I'd probably advise you do. So now we have access to that user variable. I'm going to do an if statement in here. and I'm going to say if, and then down here, I'm going to prepare the rest of my if statement. So else, and then down here, I'm going to end that if. So it's just some basic PHP templating. So what are we checking? Well, we're checking if the premium um, uh, property on this user object is essentially true or false. So I'm going to say if user premium, and we access the property like this. So if that's the case, the user's premium. So we can say you are premium. Now, otherwise, we want them to sign up. So we can say you are not premium and then create a link through to the premium sign up page which we obviously haven't looked up yet so I can just say something like sign up or maybe go premium and this is going to link through to premium.php again we've not created this yet so now when I refresh we have this you are not premium we know that because we've seen inside of the database the premium flag is set to zero if I change this to one now it says you are premium so we know that we've got the functionality to determine whether the user is premium or not. And you can use a similar if statement on any pages that you don't want users to access. So for example, inside of your main directory, you could have a file called, I don't know, secret.php or whatever. And then you could say if not user premium, and you could go ahead and redirect them off somewhere. So location index.php. So in this case, then if I try and access secret.php, oops, we need to include in app init, remember, because that still uh, contains all of our uh, variables that we need. That redirects me back to index. Whereas if I change myself to premium and I go over to secret.php, I'm allowed in. So you get the gist. Uh, there are better ways to structure your application, obviously. But in this case, you can use something like the following to determine whether the user is allowed access somewhere. So we now have got the very basics of allowing or disallowing users or checking if a user is premium or not. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at actually creating this premium.php page that we're linking through to. And we're going to include the Stripe Pay button.